COSM appears to be in that validation of support. Let's go over the details now. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again on this happy Monday. This is Arca coming at you with a COSM technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arcab. Or actually, it's now called Arca Bulls. Man, I keep on missing it, right? Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts, though. All right, COSM on the daily chart. This is the back test that we performed of volatility versus momentum. And, uh, uh, we actually were able to see a potential 100 spot, 378% move to the upside about uh, 14, 15 days ago. And we were right around up here, right? So uh, that upside target was was actually met. Now, the thing is, is that we have to come back to support, to find that support and validate the support. And what support is that exactly? Well, it's this one right over here. Okay, so this is the uh, broadening descending wedge, right? That same chart that we've been looking at for quite some time. Upon the upon the uh, the four tests of the of the resistance, we actually look like we're starting to favor test number five, which is also uh, a test that we can respect, right? So that test is actually I I did say this a couple a couple sessions ago too. That uh, as soon as we did face that upside, we uh, have to come back and test the newly converted resistance into support before a continuation to the upside. Okay, so uh, what you're looking at here is that the bulls are actually still uh, in demand right now. And the reason I can say that is because this is a spinning top doji. It is an indecision candle, meaning that there is a tie between the bears and the bulls. Uh, okay, so it, it would be... It would be a uh, typical price action of what's happening right now, considering the breakout and then the retest, right? So, um, again, I'm not saying that this is actually going to go all the way to that top side, but my target from about 15 days ago was essentially 1102, which uh, just happens to land us right between the 2 spot 618 golden mean and the 2 spot 272 at 1042. So, uh, the more realistic targets I'm looking at. Uh, for the shorter term, I'm talking about within a few days, maybe would essentially be between the one spot 272 at 728 and the one spot 618 at 836. So those are those are more along the lines of the targets that I'm looking for. Let's move on to the next chart. OK, so, yeah, let's go ahead and now move on with this right here, because this is showing us the strength that the bulls are currently still uh, obtaining right so this is the this is the Cryptex arc series indicator it is called dbsi so this is a statistical indicator that takes a metric of every single candle print of the assets particular time frame right so in this case we're looking at the hourly and um, upon taking that that metric it actually displays us the strength value in, in, in a percentage and that's actually right up here and you can see that on the hourly chart in particular the bulls are leading the way with an 87 percent over the bears at 13 another uh, thing that <clears throat> another thing that DBSI tends to look at is the 13-day exponential moving average, which is in fact below us, and it is still bullish. We've actually been coming back to it and using it as that support before a continuation onto the upside. Okay, so this is very curious that we're still suggesting that upside continuation, and the bulls are still in in strength. Okay, so if you are uh, interested in acquiring any of these uh, indicators, then go ahead and send me a DM and we'll go over the subscription packages. And um, and another thing is that you should already have a, a, a TradingView account um, as these uh, indicators are proprietary to TradingView's uh, native language, PineScript. Okay, so you can find you can find the affiliate affiliate link for TradingView software right in the description below as well, as that will help out my trading future greatly. Okay, you guys, let's move on to the last part of the analysis so that we can uh, get a uh, get a good night's rest. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna look at the immediate short term time frame just like we always do, thirty minute, and that is suggesting a downside continuation, which is very very much in accordance to what we're talking about. Uh, you know, regarding the come back to test that uh, newly converted resistance into a support before that continuation up, right? And now um, we're below that 14-day simple moving average represented by the pink line. And I mean the purple line being the signal line. Okay, so now the buy hourly is suggesting that downside as well. But please mind that we have that 14-day simple moving average suggesting that it is a limited downside. Okay, now that corrective move to the upside starts to happen right around the six hour, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the six hour RSI, right? So we do have a little bit of corrective on the eight hour and also it 
shows a little bit of an upside on the 12 hour, okay? But what's really catching my attention here by building these blocks is actually starting at the buy daily. You can see that the buy daily is about to make that cross to the upside. And why would I actually favor that cross? It's not always guaranteed, right? So the reason why is because we're approaching the gravitational zone of the bear weakness percentile, which usually tends to pull us right into the following zone, meaning that it this does have a fair shot to uh, to succeed the 14-day simple moving average and then use that 14-day simple moving average as not only uh, a support point, but also the gravitational zone as a, as a point of support to get pulled back up. Okay, so this is looking promising. Now let's look at the three-day. Three-day suggesting that upside still. Five-day is also suggesting that upside still. Still above that 14-day simple moving average and using it as a support for a bounce. We're at that gravitational zone on bare strength, which means, which means that which means that we're going to continue on to the upside with that gravitational pull. Okay, so the weekly looks a little corrective and the bi-weekly still uh, showing upside. Okay, monthly still showing a slight bit upside. Okay, so yeah, there, there is a validation process that we have to go through first in order for us to make that upside move. Volume will continue coming in upon that validation. Okay, so please notice here as well that on the daily chart, stochastic momentum is suggesting a continuation to the upside nonetheless. So things are still looking good for C. OSM. Okay, so let's go ahead and just keep a close eye on this and make sure that we can uh, protect our accounts. Please know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as just a form of entertainment as I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be just fine. Okay, you guys? So, um, yeah, please go ahead and uh, refer to the links in the description below if you would like to reach out to me on Twitter or Discord. And uh, also, please remember that the, the TradingView affiliate link is uh, also located down there as well. Okay, you can start a free account and then uh, you can do the paid one later if you'd like. Uh, this way, you can actually maybe chart alongside me when, I, when we're doing these uh, analysis videos, right? But uh, with that said, guys that is going to do it for the video i wish you well a very good night and i will catch you at the bell manana adios